phenomenal. The, okay, not only the malls are beautiful, but the, the, these guys are really quite. I gave them a good look over there. <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, so first one. She has three, was it four different ones? Uh, three. There she are three has, minions, and they're all unique. And they're all unique, right? Are they rare ones? Yeah, they're all unique minions for her. Yeah. And our, um, so the tooth. Uh, minion, Undead, Rare 1, and Safe. Defense 5, Willpower 5, so relatively low defenses. And so, so actually, we can probably compare them all together because they're very similar. They are very They similar. have the exact same stat line. Okay. The front of their card is is identical. Okay. So, so they have... Uh, so all three of them have... 5 defense with a mask, Willpower 5, 7 wounds, Walk of 5, Charge of 6, Height of 2. So this is the front of all, so we, we only have to state this once. Yeah. Curse of Autumn. Enemy models that begin their activation engage with one or more models with this ability uh, must succeed at target number 13 willpower or gain slow. Just like Aslan has. Yes. Yeah. Armor 1 and hard to wound 1. So pretty hardy. Pretty hardy. Um, right. 7 wounds, armor, hard to wound. Very similar to the uh, illuminated in their own way. Yeah. Um, the hard to wound, illuminated don't have. It's just armor and regeneration. armor and regeneration. But similar in that. Like a very sturdy complaint. minion. Um, um, and so this is the tooth is the one with the big sword. Yeah. The tooth is the one with the sword and its attack. Its attack. The blossom, the blossoming blade. Melee six with <laughs> with the uh, uh, tomes built tome in. Built. Target suffers two, three, four damage. Uh, when this, then this model may push the target up to four inches away. Kind so, of like a Barbaro-esque. So yeah, right, you hit them and you may push them up to four. Yeah. A trophy for the queen. So that's uh, built so in for this one. Yeah, I get a scheme marker. You automatically get the scheme marker. And they get brambles. When damaging, if the target is within two and line of sight of at least one scheme marker, friendly to this model, the damage flip gains a positive. So you can get a positive so, gear damage flip. Oh wow, that's pretty good actually. And the damage spread is pretty nice. Two, three, four. There's no way to boost it up, but that's yeah. a pretty respectable damage spread. Uh, and yeah. then zero. Challenge of summer. Uh, I was about to say summer. Like summer <laughs> Uh Six with the masks. Target enemy model is push its charge towards this model. Then the target must make a must make a one melee attack against this model if able. Any result, any resulting damage flip from this tar, uh, this attack receives a, a minus. Uh, then this model, then mm -hmm. if this model is still in play, it may make a one melee attack against the target if able. So, you attacking their willpower with cast six. Yeah. They push their charge towards you. They attack you, you and, and then, then you, you attack. Them. And they're at a negative. They're at a negative for damage. Yes. Or they're right. attack. No. The oh, damage flip is negative. Yes. So kind of like very much okay, like. Damage. Um, uh, iron sides. Iron sides. Yeah. But the nifty thing about that, though, is there was an upgrade that oh. for Faye that you can take. You could push, you could discard so, a scheme marker. No, but you know, you get a defensive willpower duel. After resolving an mm -hmm. attack action against small, this ball may discard a friendly scheme marker to push up to three. So, I mean, basically, it lets you reposition a little. Yeah. And so that's the first zero, the challenge of summer. Yeah. And then there's then, the zero, a clear path. This model may discard a card if it does push it into base contact with the t with the target ski marker within four. And hold on. Okay, they all have a clear path. Yeah. So they can all um, discard a card to push four inches towards this friendly ski marker. Okay. Or um, push in into base contact with a ski marker within four. Yeah. So, so. So they can all push around like that, and this one mm -hmm. automatically drops ski markers. Yes. Um, as long as you hit. Tooth is really nice. Uh, and because the challenge is a zero, it can get as many as three attacks, which also means as many as three scheme markers. Oh my gosh. And in base contact with the model, right? With whoever you're attacking. And then with Tatan. Oh my gosh, the tooth really is good. Yeah, and so. So we'll go into Claw. So the front of the card is, is the same thing. Right. This is the model with like all these. What would you say? The um, description? Well, he's, it's he's a male got, model. It's one of the only. Well, he's got models. a spear. Yeah. And he's got, like, um, bark armor. Yeah. So same stat line, same cost, and one is the Winter Spear. Melee 6 with a built-in mask. So it's the mask that's built-in. It has spear. a range of 8 with a gun or a 2-inch melee. So he can either throw the spear at you or, or just stab you with it. Target suffers 2, 3, 4 damage. And then it has Trophy of Queen. 
And then with the built-in brambles. And, and so the, it's, the brambles is the same also. Yeah. So he has brambles built in, yeah. whereas the other had trophy for the queen built in. Isn't the damage spread a little bit better? No, same damage spread. I right? think they're two, both two, three, four. Yeah, the exact same damage spread. And the other one is actually a little bit lower, one, three, four. Yeah. But um, then the challenge of winter is slightly different. If challenge I of, right. Target model is pushed. It's, uh, the target mo enemy model is pushed into base contact with this model. So, so it's not even charge of, rage. It's literally like it's just um, now the range is eight, eight, and you just are pushed into him. Period. Yeah. But then on a trigger, which is the crow, it's not built in, so it's crow winter's chill. After succeeding, if the target is in base contact with this model, it gains the following condition until end of turn, unless it discards two cards. Winter's chill. The small suffers minus to all defense slips. Oh my god. So after being pushed in with him, he just says, fuck your defense. Yeah, like, come Which, on. so, it, he doesn't have as many a, potential attacks, mm -hmm. but if Winter's chill goes off, it could be like against everyone else is like virtually a, defenseless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've said this before. If you're at a negative flip to whatever stat they're attacking, mm -hmm. you're basically defenseless. Yeah, like yeah, like, right. the, like if your opponent wants to hit you, they're probably I, going to as hit. As long as they have short the cards, of a short of a red joker on your part, they're going they're going to hit you. Yeah, you know, short of you flip, naturally flipping a red joker. And then of course that's his zero challenge, and then he has a clear path, path. if he needs okay. to. And then we'll go into Thorn. Same thing initially. Let's go just straight to attack action. She's the one with like a whip. Yep. She's got a uh, big long whip. Lashing Vines. Six with a mask and tone built in. So she has both triggers built, built in. in. Uh, it's resist defense. It's range three. So, so she's the got longest a... melee range of all three. All right. She's uh, got the longer melee range and both built in, yeah. but her damage is a little bit weaker. Yeah. Target suffers one, three, four damage, and but it ignores armor. Oh, uh, there you go. Ignores armor. So, and then the, the queen spies. So it's not a gift for the queen. Oh, yeah. The queen it's a little spies. Different. After damaging, if the target is within two and line of sight of at least one ski markers friendly to this model, draw a card. So instead, she draws a card instead of dropping ski markers. Yeah. And then it also has brambles. And the brambles is the same. So, it, it, so pretty much with this model, you're gaining the queen spies. So you have the, the ability of card draw. With the thorn. Yep. And then it's her challenge. the challenge of spring. Uh, six with a mask. Versus willpower. Versus range eight. range eight. Target enemy mall is pushed up to eight towards the small, then, comma, this this mall may place a ski marker in base contact with it. So they're pushed eight towards you, which is pretty big. Or hold yeah. on. It's just towards this model. So you're probably going to reach base contact since it's range 8. Yeah, yeah. So unless something stops you, mm -hmm. and then you place a ski marker with them. Yeah. So even she has a way to place ski markers. It's just a little different. Instead yeah. of trophy, and it's a challenge. clear path, the same thing. All right. Yeah. Uh, so why don't we talk about the three minions right now all together. Um, what do you no. think of them, Casey? Okay, so for Neverborn, they're pretty durable. About on the, I'd say overall the same level as yeah, Illuminated. illuminated yes. Now the Illuminated have sort of a more long term. They're a little easier to kill initially, mm -hmm. but if you don't kill them, they have they've, healing. They've got regeneration and they got the healing flip. Yeah. Right. So these guys. So they're they're a little more durable, which is rare, which is something that you know Neverborn don't have as many of. Mm -hmm. However, their damage is pretty underwhelming. Mm -hmm. And their stat line is a very, uh, their defense five, willpower five. Yeah, it's pretty plain as well. Yeah. Walks, walk five, charge six. But then their attack actions are, like, the, the ability it's, to bring models to, like, to pull models in. Yes, the fact that I could take the three of them, they all have a diff, their own way to pull people towards you. Yeah. Either pull them their charge, pull them a flat eight, pull them into base contact. Yeah. So, the fact that I don't need to worry about, uh, because the other models I have that can lure are either um, Lilu, 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 Lilu or Lilu and uh, uh, Beckoners. Yeah, Lilu or Beckoners. And sure, theirs are pretty strong, mm -hmm. but neither of them are that good at attacking. And these guys are better at attacking than them. Yeah, and, and that's the thing about And it. more durable than them. And the beauty of them working with Titania, the ability to bring yeah. stuff in, force them to drop ski markers, and then to talk. To, like, you are... They're, they're positioning yeah. ski markers for Titania to use to, like, I think, I, I see exactly. them as very similar to uh, what you do with belts, run belts. You use the belts to bring the malls into position, into a kill zone. Now, 
And remember, the only problem is it is range 8 on all of these challenges. Yeah. So the enemy has to be close enough for you to start doing that. But, yeah. yes. That... But range 8 is pretty good, though. I mean, like, you can just be right at the edge. Like, you can measure it so you're right at 8 inches, so you're barely mm -hmm. touching their base, and you're pulling them in. Well, exactly. I mean, it's just that... Just don't get carried away on, like, the fact that lures it's not are okay yeah, inch, so. yeah, yeah. It's, it's not as good as bells it's but, not a, yeah. yeah it's the same idea of repositioning pulling them out of position you yeah. know a lot there's a lot of models that have ranged where they want to be within eight mm -hmm. and so if they get within eight oh you're uh you're toshiro right there where you just want him sitting there and like giving up his aura buff well i'm gonna pull that guy in and sure i'm gonna be right you know so yeah uh tooth i think tooth is really nice because you Bring her, you bring in, and then you get melee actions out of it. Yeah. So in theory, um, you can get three... And Tooth is also the one that has the built-in ski marker placement. So yeah. there's Tooth is always, as long as she hits, yeah. has the potential to drop uh, ski markers. Claw is more... like he, he, the brambles Yeah, built -in. He, he has brambles. He has that nice little range, so he can get the, like... Oh, yeah. I, I want to put I want to put range pressure on you. Okay, yeah. I'm going to hit you with my, uh, uh, my winter spear. And also the fact that... Um, so, the tooth can't lure somebody that doesn't have a charge value. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of models that don't because they don't have the attacks, or maybe their charge is just really low. Mm -hmm. um, Nino has no charge. Well, the claw just says base contact right now. Yeah, you're I don't care about your charge. Just, yeah. just come right here. Oh my God! Like if you move and Nino's up in top of like a water tower. Right. Come here, Nino. Whoa! And it is pushed into base contact. Yeah. So and, and, uh, yeah, this guy. And it's a really high cast too. They're 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 uh, well, uh, cast six. So cast decent. Six. Well, I mean, it's, it's it's above average. It's above yeah. average. Yeah. That's why I call that decent. Yeah. Six is. Uh, so the claw, the thorn is more of a. I'm trying to figure out. Well, card drawing is always nice. Yeah, card draw is nice. And the, the fact that that three-inch aura can help her engage stuff from further away, or mm -hmm. not aura, uh, melee range. Um, although, we have had seen that moment where sometimes having your melee range be too big is bad. Yeah. Because it's too easy to move around in a three-inch bubble. Mm -hmm. Well, I can still go where I need to go without leaving. Yeah. But um, I think it's just her combo with the others, mm -hmm. how... They're kind of made so that you can stack them up. Yeah. And well, and then the curse of autumn is nice good. too, is like because then you're bringing malls into base contact. Let's say it's a mall that's already activated. Exactly. You could bring them into base contact, and then I mean, whether you're charging them or pulling them into you or both, you yeah. charge one model and pull somebody else. And the in. ability to force your opponent into getting slow. Yeah. So the big thing is, I I I, I foresee like Thorn maybe a little bit less often used, but I'm seeing Claw. And uh, um, and the tooth in a lot of Neverborn crews. Yeah, and the fact that there are n three new powerful minions. Well, technically, we'll call them one group of minions. Yeah. Um, that's a sort of sideways. Uh, Lucius likes minions. Yeah. So he will always be. They're really solid. I um, see. I see them as really solid minions. You know, I'll, it's one of those weird moments. Lilith already doesn't have a lot of synergy. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no reason to take. The other never the other Nelfim, except for the fact that she has black blood, so they won't hurt each other with black blood. Mm -hmm. Like there's already a lot of crews that focus on swamp fiends a lot more because they just are good, mm -hmm. and that's another. These are just good minions, so yeah. they combine with a just generally good master. Yeah, and yeah, like um, like these. I think I think when you take these guys mm -hmm. is when ski ski marker placement is important in the scheme pool. Yes. Then you're like, I don't need to focus on damage. Mm -hmm. Here's some durable minions that can drop scheme markers. Yeah. We'll do like, it. They're, they're stat Even lines, they're, not... they're, 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 the defensive stat lines are a little bit kind of lackluster compared yeah. to most. Well, actually, sorry, they're, their defense and willpower being five, that's relatively it's, low. Because yeah. Neverborn are usually like, oh, relative. Like, I mean, even Teratots. Teratots are defense six. Yes, six is very common, but yeah. they have no other defensive abilities. Yeah. Meanwhile, they have armor and hard to wound and stick. So, like, you know, like you're trading yeah. the raw stats versus having a lot of built in defenses. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I think they will definitely see in the right schemes yeah. plenty of use. So, we've got another. <laughs> This one is hilarious. The Bandersnatch. It's a minion, living, rare one, cost five, but it has three things with it. It's a fae, a nightmare, 
and a spirit. Yep. Wow. All right, it's defense five, willpower five, four wounds, a walk of five, a charge of six, and a height of two. Mm-hmm. So, but you looking at that four wounds like, oh God. But it has incorporeal. Uh, Shadow Spirit, this model activates as normal while buried and may declare triggers while buried. Yep, that's an important thing. It can activate while buried. That comes in later. It has Shadow Hunting. While measuring range for an attack action, this model may declare while buried. This model may add the height of the model from which it is measured to, to the range of the attacker. So pretty much if... Oh, okay, so... You add the height of the model that you're with, right? Hold on. Okay. Um... Okay, so that's... When we get into its abilities and a certain upgrade, mm-hmm. it gives out an upgrade to a different model and buries itself. Yes. And that it measures line of sight from the model with the upgrade. So, it adds its height on top of that model's height. Oh, okay. So if if it attaches to a height 2 normal person, it adds another 2 height for measuring line of sight. Mm-hmm. If it were a height 1, you'd have height 3. If it were height 3, you'd get like height 5 technically. Or, or even even choppy bits. For height 6 technically. <laughs> You can actually see over those no, uh, stash seven. markers. It, oh, you're right. It's high four. I, I think Chompy is four. Is he four? Okay. Um, it has. Okay. And then yeah, it attacks. And then for one action, it's grabbed melee five with a mask built in. It's resist defense range two. Target suffers two, three, four damage. One uh, with the built in, it can always do this snatch. After damaging, push this target into base contact with the model from which range and line of sight for those attacks were drawn. Okay, so it pushes, but if you do it, you push into base contact with the model. After um, damaging. Right, after damaging, you push You push the target into base contact. Yeah, and then false suspicion. Uh, after so damaging, you, need a, the, you need a second, second mask. mask. After damaging a non leader the target must perform a, a one attack action against the model from, from which range and line of sight for this attacks were drawn, if able. The smallest control... This, Model's controller controls the target for the duration of the attack. The attack may not declare triggers. So, you you bury the Bandersnatch and attack its shadow cave or whatever to a Death Marshal. Yeah. And then you have the de- then you have the Bandersnatch use grab on a nearby. Oh, snatch! Oh yeah, grab! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You you have it use grab on a nearby. I don't know, Witchling Stalker. Mm-hmm. Well, now you use False Suspicion, and the Witchling Stalker has to make a one attack action against that Death Marshal. Mm-hmm. So the trigger means that whoever you attacked has to attack who you're buried on. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's really weird. And so then the zero action, that's the one that uh, attaches it. Yeah. That's the important Crawl part. in the shadow, casting six, target number 13, resist willpower. Uh, range six. This action may not be taken while this mall is buried. Bury this model and do not end its activation. Target model that does not have the Shadow's Lair upgrade attach, attach attaches the Shadow Lair upgrade regardless of restriction. Unbury this model in base contact with the target when the Shadow Lair upgrade on it is removed or discarded or before the target is removed from play. This action may not be taken if there is already a Shadow Lair upgrade in play that the small cause to be attached. Okay, so the Woo! Bandersnatch <laughs> That's a big attacks a model or to hit, targets a model with Fall into Shadows. So it's casting six, six versus their willpower. Yes. And and you need at least a seven. Yeah. So if they fail their willpower, mm-hmm. you attach Shadow Layer to the model. Yes. And you bury Bandersnatch. Um, now if Shadow layer is ever removed from the model, mm-hmm. the banner snatch will unbury in base contact. That's yeah. the that's the gist there. Now yeah. what we does got Shadow the, Layer do? Shadow layer, which is the upgrade. That's tell it's next page. Shadow layer. So zero upgrade may only be attached using crawl in the shadow action yeah. that we just described. Shadow layer. It gains the following abilities. Uh, this model that attaches this upgrade to this model may draw range and line of sight from this mall for the purposes of making attack action. So that's the ba- the Bandersnatch can draw line of sight from the attached model. Unstable layer. At the start of this mall's activation, 
It suffers one damage that may not be reduced or prevented. The second time it suffers a damage in this way, discard this upgrade. So you can get two so, turns of this. Right. And w wait, when does it <coughs> trigger the damage? Um, at, at the start. start of the model's activation. So, well, the, there's the first time you activate, mm -hmm. you throw the, throw the thing on and you crawl into their shadow. Mm -hmm. Then you activate once, yes. and then the second time you activate, you'll be kicked out. Yeah. And so, and then you've got one dart out. Dark That's out. your tactical action uh, where... Unbury this model in base contact with any model that has a shadowy layer upgrade that was attached by a friendly model. Then discard the shadow layer upgrade from the model. So this is interesting. So his range is only two. Mm -hmm. So there has to be a model within two of whatever has the shadow layer mm -hmm. in order for it to attack. Otherwise it can't use it. Um, so what you... But what it is, is whoever you put the shadow layer on, mm -hmm. your enemy is forced to either keep them away from their other models, mm -hmm. or to potentially kill their own model to get the Vandersnatch out. Mm -hmm. And then to kill the Vandersnatch. Right. Before it can shadow layer again. It's <sighs> it's very weird. Okay, here's, yeah. here's what, and I agree, that buying the Vandersnatch at the beginning of the game probably won't happen that often. Yeah. However, if the, you summon the it. Dreamer can summon it. The Dreamer can summon it. He can remove slow and then chain activate into the Bandersnatch, have the Bandersnatch immediately jump into something. Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I, I'm looking at the Banner. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Casey. I don't think I would buy the Bandersnatch, but as a summon, he might be worth it. I think he's a really interesting summon. Yeah. Um, even even then, though, five soul. Like, yeah. It's, it's a really tough one. I. Yeah. To be completely honest, I'm kind of unimpressed with the banner stat. He's, I mean, he's nifty. He has these, all yeah. these like really cool little abilities, but, uh, but the model itself, though, I think it's kind of a little underwhelming. It's one of those things like it has a really cool ability, but in terms of practical gameplay, yeah, I have no idea. We'll have to see. Um, unless we're unless I'm missing something, like which is very possible. Like. It's it's also might be the fact that it's a minion mm -hmm. that can make itself practically untouchable for a short period of time. Yeah. Like, it's running around, and if they want to deal with it, there's going to be I would just ignore trouble. it, to be completely honest. Like, the shoot of five is very... <laughs> well, actually, but, like five but also, two. I mean, the ability to pull models to you, like, like, oh, I'm, I'm hitting your defense for Ice Goal, and that's across the board, and I'm pulling him out of position. No, but the range on the attack is two. Oh, it's only oh. That's the that's the real problem. Is whatever model oh, he's shadow layered in, yeah. he only has two inch range out of them. So, yeah, he's mostly useful if the enemy has. If you're, if you're a very clumped up crew. Yep, if they're already close together. And then, then with that model that's been banner snatched, you're just like, okay, I'm gonna send you over here. Yeah. Okay, now we'll go into the other thing. I actually do love the I love this model how it looks. Uh, yeah. Willow, Willow the Wisp, or Willow Wisp. Yeah, Willow the Wisp, also it's, known as a Willow Wisp. It's cost three. It's a minion, rare three, spirit, swamp fiend. So, Zarita can infiltrate it into, uh, uh, Oh, it's not a fey. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was a fey initially, too, because yeah. it's a Willow Wisp. D&D knowledge, right? Uh, it's incorporeal. <laughs> it's insignificant, so... So, it's like the hounds. Yeah. In or, or the bats. Yeah. Feed on the lost. There. After an enemy model within three of one or more models with this ability fails a willpower duel, one model in this ability may place a ski marker in base contact with any model. Huh, this reminds me, I, I think I see a lot of synergies with Pandora already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it a willpower? Yeah. yeah, it's a willpower duel. Huh. And then it has an attack action, Twisted Illusions, Melee 4 with the Masks built in, Resist Willpower, Range 1. Target suffers one, two, three damage, and then with a crow and a mask, which you have built in, horrendous visage. After damaging, the target must succeed on a target number 11 willpower duel or gain slow. Wow, so it has two willpower, it has two. Its main attack can trigger a willpower duel if you oh, get a crow. Oh, man. Yeah. And then one, the wisp's call. Casting five, resist willpower, range 10. Target model gets the following condition until end of the game, or until this model leaves play. Whispers in the night. This model may not charge. The next time this model takes a walk action, it must end as close to the model that applied 
this condition as possible, then end this condition. Okay, so the model has to walk as close as possible to the will-o'-wisp mm -hmm. and can't, can't charge, mm -hmm. and then it takes a walk towards the will-o'-wisp to end the condition. And what's the... Res so casting six versus so willpower. Another willpower goal. Yeah. And then for a tactile action, ever-changing form. Target a friendly never-born model within ten. Take a two tactical action printed on the target stack card or one of its upgrades. This action may only be taken once per turn and only during the small's activation. A single, a single model may only be targeted by ever changing form once per turn. Take a two tactical action printed. So two tactical action. Yeah, I'm trying to think who has two tacticals. I'm not sure. And that's where, like... It's been so long since I've done most of the uh, Neverborn Masters. I, I'm, I'm looking at the will of And is it anything including a master, right? Mm, friendly Neverborn Mall? Yeah, within 10. Right. I'm trying to think who I has that. Two. No. Ah, there we go. Is you remind me of the babe. Summon a voodoo doll. Immediately sacrifice other friendly totems. So Zarita, mm -hmm. the will o -wisp can take a one action to make Zarita summon the voodoo doll. Out, out of her, okay. That's one way. That's okay. one thing. Two tactical on any, um, Pad Juju, make him flurry. <laughs> he, flurry is a tactical action that Pad oh Juju has. Oh my gosh. Um, so there's a couple out there. Um, oh. Poltergeist, primordial activity. Place a 30 millimeter primary, so, paranormal marker. Uh, Okay. I mean, there's a few in here. Yeah. And, and of course, they're the ones that we thought would have synergy anyway. Yeah. Like, he's a Swamp Fiend, so he has synergy with the Swamp Fiends. Yeah, Poltergeist synergy. with uh, Pandora. So um, Teddy has Flurry. Uh, Baby Cade has Where's Teddy to teleport to a Teddy. Oh, man. Um, so a lot of interesting... Yep, N Mature Nelfim have Flurry. Oh, man. So, okay. There's so, some good ones there. So, there's a lot of synergies. We, we don't know all the two actions that you can do, but there's a lot of options. But even book... That, that was book one, Neverborn. There's yeah. a lot. So, just imagine... So, will of us are three soul stones each. Hold on. This yeah. part says... Okay, it has to be Neverborn. Because yeah. they're a Swamp Fiend, they could be brought into to, Gremlins yeah. by Zarita. But you can use Zarita, you can use them to summon Voodoo Doll. Yep. Because um, she is a Neverborn model. So for three soul stones, it's a really good buy. Uh, I yeah, think the question I, is how many? how many. A lot of times you'll have like one. I mean, for, or, but does Neverborn have a lot of good activation control models? Uh, we got corrupted hounds now, oh, you do which are con competing for the same thing. They're an insignificant minion mm -hmm. who costs three. But I think they're really. I think I foresee so. Uh, Pandora's gonna like them. Yep, I think I think they're basically Pandora hounds. Yeah. Um, like for act does they Pandora can't... have an issue with activation control usually? She likes to take a lot of big models that like sorrows and stuff like that. Uh, of course, if she's taking sorrows, they're only like four points. So so maybe if you want not to take necessarily, list, but but then the, the ever changing form though, I mean. Well, that's just it. She takes them for the other stuff, mm -hmm. and then ever changing form is why you take maybe one. In and then feeding Zarita. on the lost, and that, that's really yeah. nice too. Just the idea. To get ski markers out of it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, a lot of, stuff. but uh, you never born players tell us if there's any really cool combos you know with the Willow is. We have, we, like I said, only in book one we found a punch already. Yep. And then we've got the Rogaroo. 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 Ro Raggy. Ro Raggy. Ro -ro -raggy. <laughs> uh, the Rogaroo is a minion undead. It's a fey beast. Its cost is eight soul stones. Um, Hold on, we gotta... Yeah. Puppy. Alright, so we were uh, talking about the yeah, Rogaroo. We're back with the Rogaroo. Um, so, Fey okay. Beast, uh, Minion, Undead. So Marcus can take him. It's, yes, he is a beast. Um, and a minion, so all the good things that minions can bring. Eight points. Yep. Defense, willpower, five. Nine wounds, five walk, charge, seven. Height, three. So... You know, pretty decent. On a 50 millimeter base, too. Oh, yeah, he's big. I didn't realize. Yeah. Uh, so, fresh meat. The start of this model's activation. Discard a friendly ski marker within three to choose to either heal two or push three in any direction. So, you got some help, self healing and push. Any that he wants. Okay. Built into just. Hard to kill. Hard to kill. And pounce. 
Yeah, pounce. So if you end a push near him, oh, I actually I just want to. I think hers is a push. Let me command. After damaging another friendly, may push into base contact. Oh, okay. So she doesn't push the enemy. She pushes the, the friendly. But the other, her. the other, uh, um, her minions. Oh yes, form. they have a lot of. So if a Rogaru was sitting next to them and they push the enemy towards them, yeah. But but if, you, if but if you're get, taking him just for pound, there's other pounds well, okay, involved. But and... it's more that you would if you have a lot of pushes, he has a little extra. Yeah. Worth. So I guess his we'll go to his attack. Wolfen claws, melee six versus defense range two, two four six damage, crushing strike, positive flip for every ram in the dual total. Which it's not built in. He doesn't have one built in, so he's probably only getting one. Yeah. Um, but still, that's really good. Damage spread is uh, it's back to illuminated damage spread. Uh, yeah, that two, two four, four six, six is impressive. So being able to for he's eight soul stones, so he costs one more than illuminated. Yep, but I think that's a little more damage. Plus the crushing strike lets him get that positive flip. Is it two four? It might be two four five for. I thought he was five max. Maybe maybe. Oh, nice. yeah, um, yeah, you look it up. I'll go on to he's got tactical action zero. Challenge of the Alpha. All enemy models in a 4-inch pulse must pass a target number 13 willpower duel or be pushed into base contact with this model. So he has a way to trigger his own pounce by pulling them in. Um, Illuminator 245, so it does have higher damage. Right? Okay. Okay, it's recording? Yes. Uh, um, and the Challenge of the Alpha has the trigger on a crows on the hunt. After succeeding this and after completing all pushes, this uh, place this model into base contact with a model that passed the willpower duel. So, you know, put, pull everyone in, then if you passed, the trigger lets him place in contact with somebody who passed the duel. So either way, like, if it's a, a single model, you either are put in base contact or I am pushed into base contact with you. Right. So or it's placed, like the, the I think. placed. Uh, pushes, or all pushes. Uh, yeah, place. So he places, oh because gosh. think about it, if multiple models pull in, well, you might not be able to push out. So he places instead. And you can actually, in theory, depending on the base size of the model, you can gain a, a, some extra distance. If it's a 50 millimeter model, you right. can place behind the model, that like could engaging be, things behind it. Exactly. That could be your very first thing, and then you have a charge of seven, mm -hmm. which gives you a threat of nine inches beyond whatever your placement might have been. Now, of course, that's dependent. If they don't bother cheating and just let it go in, mm -hmm. you don't get the place. Yeah. But it's there. So, like, if there's a specific model you want to get, you're going to get it. If it passes, pushed into base. And all, you only need a seven to pull it off. Uh, right, to trigger the push. Yeah. Then he also has Howl to the Blood Moon. A target model within two inches must take a Willpower 13 duel. If it fails, this model may take a one attack action against it. Okay. So that's where he says, you, pass or fail this duel. If you fail, I get the free attack. So you yeah. can get up to a third attack. And that's, ca that's, yeah, it's a 13, and there's no casting order. It just, it yeah, just that one just happens. happens. It just happens. So there's no. So a model within two and you potentially get a free attack. Uh, so the Rukuru, so you play Marcus more than me. Um, uh, what do you think of him with the Marcus crew? Okay. When it comes to Marcus, I'm really not sure he's worth it. Marcus has so many options. One more point, Sabertooth Cerberus. Right, Sabertooth Cerberus. There's just a lot of stuff out there. The new Circus Bear. Mm -hmm. Buy the bear, throw on your free upgrade. He does have some interesting things. His self-heal is nice. The fact that he has a pounce. Um, and I think it works but, work well with Titania's crew. Yes, he has but some see, synergy with Titania. If, if you were, um, if you're, he's very expensive. Well, I mean, yeah. expensive. Well, like that's a, a, for an eight point minion. Mm -hmm. Again, Lucius is potentially. Oh uh, yeah. Because he is a beefy minion to tell what to do. Mm -hmm. um, that that wouldn't that be the funniest thing? Uh, Lucius brings his guild gun line with him to Neverborn, and they're mm -hmm. protected by Ruggaroos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, and then if it doesn't push, and if you if a model pushes near him. If if a if a model ends a push or walk action, <gasps> Wait, that was not part of a isn't that a push right there? Right, exactly. So challenge of the alpha could trigger pounce. Wow. So like, let's say you're in like like a bunch of spiders. Let's say uh, uh, okay. you you go like three uh -huh. spiders. Yeah, part of the 
Walker charge action. This model may immediately take a one against the model without spinning AP. As far as I can tell, you'd push a spider, attack it. Push a spider, attack. Like each one in. See, um, nope. Four inch pulse. Spiders are immune. However, oh! They're immune to pulses. Okay. However, if they were mindless zombies. Yes. That's a better example since they're not immune to pulses. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, uh, I, I need, uh, like, uh, yeah, very kind of situational, but some really. If it like if you know yeah. it's going to happen if you're playing against an opponent that's going to be bringing these kind of things yeah. and you and you prepare for it I think the Roguru would be worth it but he, in like just yeah, some value yeah um, he works well with Lilithu Le 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 mm -hmm. because of her lore and of course all of the like you said the yeah the champions will call them yeah but see that means the you're the you're, you're spending fifteen soul stones. Yeah, various yeah. things. Yeah. But, th again, that's just a bonus. He's f good without that. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, we'll have to see, because uh, there's a lot of good stuff in the Neverborn. Yeah. Um, so now so we'll check out some of the new upgrades. they new. So, so, we did Shadow Lair. <laughs> so, we'll, mm -hmm. well, why don't we start with Lelous? Lelous. Yes. Uh, so, he, you may have seen this, or I don't know if they're out yet. Yeah. I'm using Lelou in the uh, campaign, mm -hmm. and he has this upgrade. Yeah. So, it gives him plus one defense, brings him from defense five to six. Yes. And gives him satisfying punishment. At the end of this model's activation, it may suffer one damage to draw one card and then discard one card. Mm -hmm. And he just gets that for free. Yeah. Like, it's pretty good. It just straight up happens, yeah. It's pretty good. Um, I've really liked it. I've used the card draw to good effect. Mm -hmm. And the fact that him and his sister can both trigger regeneration to yeah, heal yeah, that so, off. So one damage isn't a big deal. Right. Especially if she, especially if uh, Lilithu hasn't activated yet. Mm -hmm. He's just going to heal it up when she deactivates. Yeah. Um, then we've got Iggy gets an upgrade. Enraged Tantrum. Yeah, he gets Enraged Tantrum, zero. Um, melee five, it gives him an attack action called Enraged Tantrum. Mm -hmm. One action, melee five, range two. Mm -hmm. Target suffers 2, 3, 4 damage. Hide in shadows. This model, push after succeeding, this model pushes up to 3. So, it just gives him a melee attack that can actually deal damage. Mm -hmm. Instead of his attack he has, it's both ranged and melee. I, 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 and it only lights them on fire. I don't know, uh, Iggy's been, I've never seen, I haven't seen Iggy ever. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying to remember, there's a couple crews that are able to bring him for the burning. I'm trying to remember who it was. Is he never was. born? I think he's, he's never born. That's why he gets a never born he, upgrade. He's an enforcer, right? Um, yeah, he should be. Iggy. He's an enforcer. He's a five soul stone enforcer. Yeah. He's lost. Oh, that's what I remember. Since he's willpower four. So, um, it's... They were, somebody was talking about Gremlin Zarita. Mm -hmm. And Gremlin Zarita can take him as a mercenary, or Neverborn Zarita just take him normally, because mm -hmm. he's willpower four, and he's really good for lighting the um, her voodoo doll on fire. Oh, okay. Um, Ignite and stoking the flames. Right. So he has nothing to directly deal damage. Is the pro is why really they gave cheap, him though. this five soul stone. Right, and now he has an extra attack. Yeah. Including. Because I never saw him uh, of all the games. I've, yeah, I nobody ever. To bring him. I've seen the model before. She's like, oh, icky. Okay, but nobody ever just talks about him. Yeah, well, that's one you might grab for your gremlin if you ever get gremlin Zarita. Yeah, <laughs> he has some synergies. He's a woe in the loss too. Yep. See, that's why we need a woe master. <laughs> well, that that's that's what uh, Pandora basically is. Oh yeah, she, but she doesn't offer a whole lot of synergies with woe, just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now this is the one I think is really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting to the general upgrades. Mm -hmm. Non-master rare two. Mm -hmm. It's called a thousand faces. Um, so it gives them after this model is killed or sacrificed, the friendly leader may take a one action after the current action is resolved. So if the model has a thousand faces and it dies, your master immediately gets to take a one action. Oh, okay. However, its other ability is at the start of this model's activation. It may discard this upgrade to name another upgrade and attach the named upgrade following the usual restrictions. Um, if the named upgrade has a higher cost than this upgrade, you must pay soul stones equal to the difference. 
if the upgrade chosen was packed, draw a card. So, if you take Thousand Faces, mm -hmm. it lets you exchange Thousand Faces for any upgrade you need. Mm -hmm. So, for example, Teddy is really strong with um, Retribution's Eye. It lets him ignore no, armor. armor. Yeah. But, if you take Retribution's Eye and the enemy has no armor, you're like, well, that was kind of wasted. You can throw a thousand faces on take him. Take wing, the wings of uh, Nightmare or whatever. You can take on, uh, yes, wi on Dreaming Wings. On dreaming. And so, you take a thousand faces, mm -hmm. then when you activate Teddy, you can decide to take on Dreaming Wings, Retribution's Eye. Um, I forget if Pact is only um, Henchman and, or if it's anybody. Is that in... Um, think it's in here but and if you if there's no other upgrades to take and you take pact mm -hmm. which i think is already a solid upgrade you get mm -hmm. a free card as well yeah. so it's it's a one soul stone for more you're, you're paying one soul stone for versatility and you yeah. you can get uh, i mean you're gonna get a one soul stone upgrade from it yeah and if you manage if you grab a two soul stone upgrade you just have to pay the difference from your cash very similar to the terracotta warriors kind of uh, uh, yes uh, as more of a one-shot version yeah and then the last new upgrade is Malifaux Provides. Mm -hmm. Non-master, rare two. So again, not a master, you can have two. Mm -hmm. At the end of this model's activation, it may discard a ski marker within three in line of sight to heal two on this model. So it can heal itself with ski markers. Okay. Um, a land hides us. When this model would gain a condition from an enemy action or ability, it may discard this upgrade. If it does, it does not gain a condition and draws one card. So you can get so somebody tries to paralyze you, you get rid of this and you draw a card. Mm -hmm. So just interesting. This is an option. Um, like you said, these are both good options for um, show, uh, force. show of force being in the pool. Yeah. And so it really gives them some extra options there. I'm thinking you're gonna see thousand faces a lot more. Yes, I mean if you're gonna take there's certain upgrades that if you're gonna take them, you may as well take thousand faces yeah. to start with. Yeah. Because it, it thousand faces give it gives you those tactical options like oh yeah. I'm going to all right I have no idea who I'm playing this is a, like exactly. a tournament I think I see this a lot in tournament play yeah it gives but you, like they call Arcanist you're like well I'd really like something with Retribution's Eye but what if they pop Marcus or yeah. or even Ironsides with an all living no armor list yeah then yeah. I'm, okay I'm gonna drop the thousand faces to give myself. Yeah, I'll choose something that's useful instead of yeah, retribution. Yeah, and, and you're not wasting a, uh, uh, an upgrade slot. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely... I see a lot of lists taking both th both of them, since that's rare, too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep. Well, um, I, I think I'm... Yeah, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to see Thousand Faces more, but Malifu provides is still... It's not bad. So. Right. And that's one of the choices that this might go into, lead into. And neither of them can be masters, which is interesting. Yeah. I, I think Titania with this would be too much. Oh, God. The extra healing for yeah, the yeah, markers. Yeah. It'll, it'll suffer the same thing that uh, what's his face from a... Uh, uh, like, oh, they, they would probably put a caveat, like, maximum four damage heal or something like that. Oh, right, right. Maximum. Um, so, I think we hit yeah. all the upgrades and everything. So, the faction as a whole from this book. Got I, some interesting some new options. Interesting yeah. options. The Ragaru is, Man. Like he's good. I think either it depends on what you're doing. The Will O Wisp, like Pandora, like Pandora players, like you guys probably know more about than we do. I think mm -hmm. Will O Wisp is going to be really good with Pandora, just for that activation control, the bonus to willpower to, to uh, willpower duels of failing, the ability to put up to two willpower duels in one attack action. Really, really phenomenal. Uh, no, um, the one that triggers into one is oh. a, it starts off as a melee. Oh, it's a melee? But oh, then but the ranged one... Oh, willpower, though. Oh, you're right. A melee resisted with willpower. Though. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, and then if you f and then up to two willpower duels in one attack action. I mean, it's, it's melee four, so if, if your opponent really wants to stop it, they're going to stop it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then the ability to make other models do two interact actions, really awesome. Or, or two tactical. Two tactical One actions. One of their tactical but actions. But still really squishy. I mean, three wounds even with incorporeal. And note that the two tactical must be printed on their card. 
So if it's ever a two interact, mm -hmm. that's not printed on a card, so they don't get to trigger oh, it. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, that would be crazy with the new version, or new distract, I think. Yeah. With, um, right, where they could two action, oh, you've already activated? Will-O-Wisp, two action interact. Yeah. <laughs> so it has to be printed on their card for See, the See, God, it just wisp. shows how good Weird is about spawning those things. Or at least the testing people. Uh, Bandersnatch, yeah. it's... It's very know. interesting. Interesting, but... I, I, I do think Dreamer will use it often so. enough. Um, just for a five-point guy he can summon, and just to mess with the enemy, yeah. I think I think it will be a good way to disrupt a tightly packed enemy group. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a fan of it, but... No. Yeah. But, all right, now all the... I, the... Okay, so everything in Titania's box, I think, is useful. I think Aslan would see the least out of it. Yeah. Aslan and might be okay for taking for other masters. Yeah. Um, yeah, she has... And then we'll see if she has some particular use. Titania herself and her... And her... Um, Tony. Good. Uh, Titania. Yeah. Uh, so, as a master, do you think that Titania might be... Competing with the other top... Um, it's it's too early to say because I don't I don't really know how her scheme game will play out in the very in the end, mm -hmm. but she's definitely gonna be strong. She's not gonna be anymore. She's, she's not gonna be, be in the bottom for she's sure. Gonna be at the top of Neverborn yeah. usefulness because even if simply for that fact that anything involving scheme markers, she's gonna. I mean everything. She's gonna have it. Really good. <laughs> like I, I'm trying to think. There's no, there's no real bad Neverborn master. Um, except for the Sorry, fact that no. Lucius, nobody likes Lucius. Oh, Lucius, yeah. Okay, she definitely is better <laughs> than Neverborn. Um, Lucius. So Lucius is the one that gets the most shit. Yeah. In both Guild and Neverborn. Yeah. But, yeah, so Titania is going to be very interesting. Yeah. yeah. So all I right. think, like all of them, got a really good set of models mm -hmm. to play with. Yeah. Uh, but overall, pretty good. So, yeah. Neverborn players, <laughs> thumbs up for you. Uh, some interesting options, uh, some better than others. And everything is going to be amazing to paint. Yes. Oh, yeah, the, the <laughs> models are phenomenal. Like, if, if the art is, for some of the models that have well, I've already really... seen some people that have painted them up, and, yeah. like, Titania's box looks amazing. Yeah. The, the, the Bandersnatch is going to be great. Mm -hmm. I know some people who might not want to have the little minor guy, mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah. The, the Raguru ra 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 looks ra really cool. Ruguru! Ro I'm going to paint it like a Scooby Doo. I'm going to get a little, like, uh, try to make a model like a stoner. So, so I follow oh, the Ruguru. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, all right, guys. Well, we're, I think we're just chit chatting right now. But uh, we're going to jump into the next one, which is going to be Outcasts. Outcasts. And then we have Gremlins. And then my personal favorite, Ten Thunders. Yes. Yep. Why do we have to be last? Alright, see you guys later.